you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And first thing, guys, we got brand new flashbacks. So I typically don't care for flashback cards, but... We might have got a banger. So this one's a really cool card. I just don't know if they'll give him the stats he deserves. Because you know how Madden is, right? They drop a good card and then you're a flashback, especially flashbacks. I call it the slow promo. If they give this guy the stats he deserves, I might just pick him up for the squad. I love this guy in real life. I've been a big fan of him for most of his career. And this is a flashback to his old team, guys. Trust me, they're both pretty, pretty cool. And if it does go, how would, if, if they give him the stats he, he deserves... This could be a very awesome card for Ultimate Team. Now, I don't know if it'll be an 89 or a 90. So, although we're trending towards more 90s, I think last week was the first flashbacks that were 89s. So, I think they might do another set of those first. So, this might be an 89 overall guy. But, guys, good news. Xerxes is on vacation. So, there's a pretty good chance I beat him today. I usually lose by like a 10 seconds, 30 seconds. But, I think since he's on vacation, I might have his ass today. But, we'll see. But, guys, if you're new to the channel and you're looking forward to this video and you've been checking me out prior to this, go make sure to go down below. Hit the sub button, boys. Let's get to 8K. We're so close. We're really close. We're almost there. Make sure to get me there. Also, comment down below if you're excited for these flashbacks and you do see them. I'm really excited for one of them. The other one is whatever. Nothing to... I don't mean... I haven't really recognized them yet, but I only really care about the first one. And if you guys haven't already, like the video. Let's get this video. It is a content video. But let's get it to 100 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated. And turn on the noti bell. It's going to notify every time I post a brand new video. So first thing, guys. The brand new flashbacks are, I believe... Shady McCoy and a guy with dreads on the Chargers. And sorry that I do not recognize him. I probably should. But I do not. But Shady McCoy is huge. So we got LaShawn McCoy in the game. Now, what his stats should be, right? I think his stats should be like an 88 speed, a 90 juke move, pretty good carrying, and pretty good elusiveness, maybe even decent catching. That's what it should be. But knowing yeah, they're going to give him like an 86 speed, decent agility, decent juking. But it's a flashback to the Eagles in 2013. So if we know anything about that, he was a beast back then on the Eagles. So it should be a beastly card, but we do not know what the A. Now, would I recommend opening up the packs? Eh. Now that there's 89s in the store, they're kind of more worth it. So these typically go for 1780. So if you pull an 86, you lose. If you pull an 87, you break even. If you pull an 88, you, you win. Maybe I meant 88s, maybe not 89s. That's what I meant before. But you get, you guys get the point. So, if you pull any of the other ones you win, only 86s you lose on. So, these aren't horrible packs if you try re-rolling for Shady McCoy. They won't be a horrible way to uh, maybe even make some training if you hit right. What I recommend them, though, I mean, you're probably better off just buying them. It'll probably be really cheap on the block pretty pretty quickly. Unless the stats are insane, which, knowing EA, knowing EA, his stats will be ass. But if they are good... I think he'll be a pickup for a lot of teams, even just as a trial card, right? You just pick him up, try him out real quick. If he gets evasive, even better. But who knows with EA how they're going to mess up this card. Now, I, I imagine if he isn't 88 overall, based off the auction block, he'll probably be going for like 130k, 110k initially. And then after like two days, probably like 100k flat, maybe even less. So he's going to be a decent pickup that you could just sell back right away. Let me go show you guys what I'm seeing on Twitter right now. So when we come on over right here on the left, we got Shady McCoy. As you see, Muttleeks tweeted it out. Week 14, 2013. I don't know what he did that day. I'll probably have to look it up. Guys, if this isn't Shady, I don't know what is. Don't kill me if it's not, but I, I'm pretty sure that 25 on the Eagles, 2013. Looks exactly like Shady McCoy. Now this other guy, maybe it's Ramon Williams. Like, I really don't know if he was ever on the Chargers. That's what he looks like to me. Don't kill me when you guys, since you guys probably know what it is and I don't. All right, it's Jason Verrett. I read the comments. That makes sense. Jason Verrett. I forget that he's on that team sometimes. You know what I really liked when Jason Verrett had that um, that Halloween card, I think, last year? Where he was, like, insanely fast. That was a pretty cool card. So this card might have some speed. But again, most flashbacks and veterans are pretty kind of, are kind of slow. They never really give them the love they deserve. But if Jason Verrett has a good speed and Shady McCoy has a good speed, this could be really, really useful cards. Hopefully, they're up on the block soon so I can show them to you guys. All right, guys, the cards are out. It is Jason Brett and Shady McCoy. Let's click into this. 180K starting. Kind of like how I anticipated. 85 speed. And they killed him. 
5 foot 11, 88 excel, 88 agility, 85 carrying, 64 catching, 80 elusiveness, 80 break tackle. I'm sorry, when LaShawn McCoy in 2013, when he was this good, he was not an 85 speed kind of guy. His agility should be higher, his elusiveness should be higher. What's his juke move? At least said, don't ruin that. 87 juke move, at least that's pretty decent. That should have been at least a 90. Shady McCoy's botch, I kind of had a feeling they do something like this. Wow, at least his accelerations go, but like that's too slow. Compare him to even like Saquon, compare him to Philip Lindsay. I'd rather use Philip Lindsay just off the speed alone. I mean, actually, he's only one speed, so I guess he would be a good backup, but I'm not spending 100 can of backup running back right now. And then Saquon Barkley again, kind of stacks up pretty close to him also. So like Saquon Barkley powered up, same thing for an 88 overall. He's an 88 overall with two 88 stats on his front card. That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense to me. That is that is not a great card. I think they really, really, they really dropped the ball on this one. His catching is a 64. His carrying is okay. His pass blocking is a 49. Jumping is an 85. Ball carry vision, I don't even know how much that really matters. Spin moves a little bit low. There's no other underlying stats, right? Stamina is an 88. I guess that's okay. At least he has decent short route running, but like that's not really that impressive for this card. They dropped the ball on Shady McCoy. Could have saw that one coming. And then Jason Verrett, 88 overall. 87 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 85 play rec, 83 man. I didn't realize my camera went out, guys. Sorry. 87 zone and 84 press. So this card as a whole, this one's pretty good. He's really fast. This might be a budget kind of beast guy if he gets below 100k. 87 speed, one of the fastest corners, 88 excel, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 85 play rec, and 83 man, 87 zone, 84 press. You chem this guy up properly and you power him up, let's just say. He would have a threshold zone with really, would be really fast. See what his catching is. 75 catching isn't bad. See how he's in the tackling 57. Eh. Jumping 88, that's really good. Let's see what his, any agility, that's all up there, right? Pursuit 70, that's okay. Play rec, we know that already. Catching traffic 65, hit power 62, press 84. This card, honestly, is not that bad. So Jason Verrett's a good one. That was one of their better drops so far for flashbacks. Shady McCoy, not so much. Now let's refresh it with the prices are at. So, personal recommendation, Jason Verrett for 100k or below, pretty good buy. Sh uh, Shady McCoy for 100k or below, bad buy. The only way I can justify Shady McCoy is if he hits like 88, if he hits like 80k. In 80k, Shady McCoy wouldn't be a horrible buy. And then Jason Verrett, like I said, he'd have to probably be like at least 100k, but his car's not bad. If you need a fast corner, you don't have any of the top tier corners like Willie Brown, Ramsey, Gilmore. Jason Verrett's not horrible. You compare him to Ramsey, he's way more of an athlete by far. Agility, jumping, acceleration speed, and his man and zone aren't like terribly behind to where you can justify it. But like, I'd rather Ramsey for coverage wise, but like as a whole right now, Verrett is not a bad option, guys. I highly recommend him because it is it for the content here. I mean, they were, it was a little underwhelming for Shady McCoy, but Jason Verrett kind of made up for it. So that's not horrible. He's a great buy. Shady, on the other hand, I don't know how they messed that up. Come on, 85 speed for Shady McCoy. Third, 20, I didn't understand if it was like 2018 on the Bills or something, but on the Eagles, you don't mess that up, guys. So, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the daily content. Hopefully, we beat Xerxes. I haven't talked to him today, so I'll be I'll know if he posts his video before me, but I have a pretty good feeling this is going to be out early than his. Did a little cheese, had a little bit of stuff ready to go. So, hopefully, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the new flashbacks. Hopefully, I keep trending this way. Hopefully, they keep getting better and better. This week, we do have the kickoff promo, so stay tuned for that, obviously. First big promo of the year, if you really think about it. Like, the first real promo. The like kickoff promo is what starts the Madden season. Like, Madden hasn't even started yet. We got the kickoff promo, then eventually the Mutt Heroes, the October Halloween promo, you know, the Thanksgiving promo. I think it's going to keep getting better and better, boys. So, from what I heard, kickoff promo does launch Friday at 10.30 Eastern. So, stay tuned for that, guys. We can come back to our predictions afterwards and see if I was right or wrong. Hopefully I was right because I have some investments made in them, but I'm really excited for this week. First week of football, kickoff, some new flashbacks, some new heavyweights, some new veterans. Veterans suck, actually. Not excited about that, guys. That is it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Let's get 100 likes in this video since it is a content video. Comment down below what you thought of these flashback cards and if you guys are excited for the kickoff promo. And make sure to give me a sub. Let's get close to 8K, boys. We're almost there. And turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. That is it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.